AT&T are, well, maybe everyone doesn't know this, they are uh, seen as private companies, but they actually are government. Um, IBM has also been linked to, back in the day, back during the um, Nazi internment camps in Germany, IBM was used to keep track of all of the incoming of, of the, um, the, the prisoners. So that's information you can look up on your own. Back then, as you see, this is the little uh, rice size RFID chip that was the big rage and everyone was, was up in arms about it because we were, we were anticipating those of people, not just Hebrew Israelites, this is across the board, transcending every race, religion, and culture where people who were informed knew or know that there's going to be an actual implantable, there's implantable technology, something that will be inside of your body that will be used to track you. So um, as you heard, the revelation scripture says you won't be able to buy or sell. And it's obviously right here, right before us, which is a very exciting time because what you hear now is you won't be able to, they're, they're trying to work it out to where you won't be able to work and make money. You won't be able to pretty much travel. They're trying to work that out. And of course, they're going to try to work out where you won't be able to even, um, What's you know, that, buy, buy or sell. Yeah, I'm live. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. All right, Shalom. This is a hard one by Nyasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp. When I say Kal Halayim, Le Yahawa, Ba'ashim Yahawashai, Ba'ashim, Harakar Kodash, Ma'ama, double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and their elders, and Shalom to you, Akim, and Akwathim, and children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. All right? Amen. Um, <clears throat> what you were just watching was Sadnetta and uh, the sister, uh, uh, name began with an N. I didn't catch the name. I can go back and look at it, but um, um, she's on Sarnetta TV on his show a lot. You know, you know Sarnetta, he played both sides of the field, and a lot of people think that he might be waking up to the truth or not. It's like he playing, he riding the fence, and that's why the Lord say, um, matter of fact, I'm gonna start off with this. All right, because <clears throat> you got a lot of camps out here, you got a lot of churches out here in, um, in America right now, around the world. And you got a lot of false doctrine and a lot of a lot of books and a lot of philosophies. But there's only one truth, you know, and uh the prophecies, the spirit of prophecy. Okay. And the part of the prophecies in the scripture and it's tied to the deliverance of Israel is um the chip. All right. It says karagma, you know, a prick into the hand, period, man. And um, the Akim been teaching about it. The apostles been teaching about it. Um, of GMS, you have um, what's that? HOI. They don't. They barely teach it, but they just started teaching about it. Um, GOCC. I don't think they teach about it. I can't remember. ISUPK. They don't teach about the chip. They don't warn about the chip. <clears throat> Who else, man? Uh, IUIC. Um, they don't believe in the chip. <laughs> they don't believe it's the chip. But they got thousands of members. That's why the scriptures say, oh, wide, is, wide is the gate to destruction that leadeth to destruction. And narrow is the way all right, that leadeth to life. Why? Because um, there's going to be many, many that go in there and get that chip, man. All right? And they're going to be led astray by these false leaders. You see that? People like Sarnetta playing both sides of the fence, having this sister on there. When the scriptures say uh, women shall not teach, see, they praising the woman, and she bigging it up, too, saying uh, the men are going off, saying the women can't teach. See? But she on there and um, telling you about other men that were teaching it. That's how it's, that's how it's supposed to be done. You know, say, hey, I'm showing you my sources. This is where I got it from. I got it from these brothers. And I don't think she hides it. She doesn't hide it that she watches uh, GMS. I actually talked to her before in the chat, you know, and was helping her out one time when she was um, debating Sarnetta and a couple people on that show. And she was watching the comment board, reading it, and then um, 
and then speaking what I was saying and then checking on it, you know. So that she she legit as far as uh, her belief in the in the um in the truth, but when it comes to order, as far as um I think she believes in multiple wives. Well, ain't nobody worrying about that right now. You know, the focus is um, the prophecies and who are the men of the Lord. You know, who who is the true and living power? His name is Yahweh, and his son named Yahweh But then you got people like uh, Sinetta. I think he called himself Ares. Some type of pagan, pagan deity, man. And he called himself that, meaning... Uh, it's like an idol of um, war, you know, like that resides over debate, you know, different people debating Israelites versus um, Egyptologists or whatever. And his job is to bring everybody together and let them fight. But he makes it seem like he's starting to believe when he, he, he may be, but I don't think so. Because he's straddling the fence, you know, either way, a lot of these people are getting scared. You know, they came up and scoffed against the Akim, scoffed against the apostles. Now they got to make a choice. All them times when Sinetta went up there to New York uh, and was talking shit to the, uh, to the uh, Akim and the apostles, he was trying to fight them. All those moments, he could have been sincerely asking questions and, and being prepared for the day. But instead, he's not prepared. You see that? So... Sirach 1 and 28, distrust not the fear of the Lord. See that? And that's what he did. He distrusted the Lord. I'm starting start from 27. For the fear of the Lord is wisdom and instruction, man. And he didn't want to hear that instruction. He didn't want to hear that wisdom that was coming from the Akim in New York. I remember. And now he want to hear it from a woman. You know, nothing wrong with a woman, but I'm saying it's about order. He should have heard it from them. You know, that's called selective hearing. It says, and faith and meekness are his delight. See, being prideful, the Lord hates that. 28, Dist distrust not the fear of the Lord when thou art poor and come not unto him with a double heart, man. <clears throat> All right, because, uh, matter of fact, I'm going to say, it says, be not an hypocrite in the sight of men and take good heed what thou speakest, man. All right. Hebrews 11 and 6. So he can have his little show. They can have a woman on there saying it. And he's like, hmm, interesting. Yeah. Right. That's what scripture say. Let every man work out their own salvation with fear and trembling, man. You know, Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith. So if you don't have no faith in Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shai, it doesn't even matter if you know about the chip because a lot of jakes that go to church, they know about the chip too, you know, and that, that watch these, um, uh, uh, you know, videos on it, on YouTube or whatever. And on the internet in the past. And they, they knew about it. You know, a lot of people know about it. A lot of Edomites, a lot of nations know about the chip. Even as a cardinal, a cardinal, they just got him, um, they shut down his Instagram, Twitter, all kind of stuff, man. All right. A cardinal, like, over there in the Catholic Church, and I think it was New Mexico, he put out there that there's uh, nanotechnology and all these different things in the thing, right? And he, uh, they shut down his whole social uh, uh, sites, all his social sites, social media sites. So he can't warn the people. All right. And this is one of them. He's an Edomite. Okay. But what about the name? That's why the Lord says you got to have his name. What's his name? His name is Yahweh. His son named Yahweh Shai. If you're calling on uh, Lesus, if you're calling on Buddha, Allah, whatever name you're calling on that day, Yahweh Bashim Shai is not going to defend you or protect you. He's going to leave you out there to get that chip. If you get that chip, you're going to get burned up in the fire. Even if you don't have the chip, but everybody's gonna get it, that's not in the truth. But um the ones that don't get the chip, they're still gonna be destroyed if they're not set up for deliverance from Yahweh Shimel Shah. 
That's why he said, um, it's going to be as though, um, to what? Matter of fact, I'm going to get that too. It says um, Hebrews 11, matter of fact. All right, it says Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. See that? Without faith, it's impossible to please the Lord. <clears throat> For he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is. Okay? So you got to believe that he exists. And a lot of a lot of these uh, Jakes don't believe that Yahweh exists. <clears throat> and Yahweh Shai. Uh, what's his name? Sarnetta, he called he called our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. He said he's uh, pie in the sky, man. Meaning, uh, you know, like mocking us, mocking the Lord, mocking our king. But he's going to have to stand on them words because every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account for in the day of judgment. Ooh, that day of judgment coming quick. You see that? And they're starting to see it like, oh, man, look at that. Is the chip in that? What is the chip? I'm going to hear it from you. I heard it from them, but what you think? <laughs> they're trying to figure it out. See that? <clears throat> it says, for he that cometh to Yahweh, and that's what Sinetta seemingly and acting like he's doing by having certain people on his show like Tazariak, he act like he believed, but he's mocking. He's mocking. Okay, he, remember, he calls himself by some type of Egyptian god or idol. Just like, uh, what was that guy named? Uh, Polite, that guy. They, he called himself by some um, pagan name, which is like a snake. That's why you see him with that black circle around his eye. All right. Sarnet is the same way. He has a pagan idol that he calls himself that resides over the arena of debate. It was like, ah. Listen, man, how is that going to save you when all this stuff comes down the pipe? But these dudes need to repent and openly, too. For he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Diligently. Not just talking to some sister, and all right, all right, she's sitting there breaking it down for him. She's playing videos for him, and then she's like, in the, in the middle of her talking, he cut on his phone and having a conversation with somebody else about something totally opposite. And it's like, yo, this dude still ain't getting it, man. <laughs> All right. So a lot of people want the end of America to show up, the end of Esau's rulership, the end of the society. A lot of people um, are waiting on the Messiah. They're waiting on the judgment day. But they all have false doctrine and false hopes, according to the spirit of truth. All right. They don't understand the truth about that deliverance, about that salvation. About the judgment day. Amos 5 and 8. 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light, man. It's going to be as if a man did flee from a lion and, and a bear met him. Or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. See that? So that's like saying, hey, if somebody don't get the chip. It's still going to get destroyed. <laughs> it's still going to get met by the other judgments, man. All right. But if, um, that's why the scriptures say he calls it all, all. Somehow they're going to call it all, both small and great, to receive that mark in their right hand or in their forehead. All right. It's a scripture that say in their hands, plural. All right. Left or right. Okay. So that's what the scriptures say. And if, if even if somebody gets away from the famine, they're going to get uh, destroyed by the uh, um, natural causes, um, civil war, whatever reason, man. Okay. This is um, 1 Corinthians 14 and 7. And even things without life giving sound, whether piped or harp, pipe or harp, except they give an, a distinct distinction in the sounds, how shall it be known what is piped or harp? Man, you have got to be the, distinct in your doctrine and in your sound. Because everybody lifting up their voice in these times, 
claiming they know something, but it has to be a distinction in your doctrine and in your spirit and in the, in the word that you're speaking. You got to be a spirit of truth. All right. And who is it from? It better be from your Shai. It says, for if the trumpet give an uncertain sound, who shall prepare himself to the battle? <clears throat> All right. So who, who's who's preparing himself for the battle? What's the battle? The battle against what? The scriptures say, um, uh, put on the full arm of the Lord that you may be able to stand in the evil day against the wiles of the devil. That's the battle. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but spiritual wickedness in high low places. Okay, the battle is not against only Esau, but against your own fears and doubts. Okay. So, um, all right. So, uh, where was I? At? <clears throat> Amos 9 and 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh, are upon the sinful kingdom. All right. And Esau has that sinful kingdom in that place is uh, America, all right, Babylon. Really the whole world, but it's talking about America, Babylon. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Whoa. It is, it's a spiritual, this is a twofold scripture because he's going to destroy Esau's kingdom off the face of the earth. And also, ultimately, um, this place, Babylon, is going to be wiped off the earth. All right, it's going to become a lake of fire. Uh, a place of pitch and dust. Just like Sodom and Gomorrah. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saying that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith Yahweh. So there's going to be a remnant that gets delivered out of this place. For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, like as corn is sifted in a sieve, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth, man. So there's a sift going on. All the sinners of my people. Whoa. So the Lord does have a people. Talking about Israel. Like uh, Sarnetta, he's an Israelite. I think he's Dominican. If I'm not mistaken. Um, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. All right. Which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. So they, they say the evil that's coming, the bad things, shall not overtake them nor prevent. We ran into a guy here that was on that Egyptology shit in the past. And he used to come up to us and um, we call him the genie because he'll try to do some damn leg squat. And I eat vegetables, man. I eat herbs, man. Y'all got the Bible. But can you do this? <laughs> you know, he bust a move. And we'll be like, yo, y'all dudes is vain. And he's like, I got a business. Y'all ain't got no businesses. And polite, exposed y'all. So I know they exposed, but look. But now look, these little um, local businesses, they're getting shut down. All right. And now they got to make a choice because this right here is going to come down upon all people. This is Revelations 3 and 10. Because thou has kept the word of my patience. So you got to keep his word. You got to protect his word. It stands stiffly for his name. I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. See that? So if you don't believe or know, know of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and believe in him, he's and keep it, protect his word, he's not going to protect you. All right. This is uh, the hour of temptation. That's the trial period. And we have entered into that time right now. All right, we're going into it. All the way up into the chip. It's the hour of temptation. Where everybody's going to be tried. Which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. See that? So the Lord is saying, behold, he's, he's going to show up quick. You know, just, just have faith and hold on. He said, what? Hold that fast which thou hast. See, he's saying, hold on. I'll beat it. That no man take thy crown. So you don't let Bill Gates and all these other heathens, these double-minded jakes that's straddling the fence, that's lukewarm. Don't let them um, 
take your crown. Okay, and the crown is going to be given as a reward for the elect, according to Second Ezra chapter two. All right, the ones that have um, put off the mortal clothing and stood stiffly for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. This is Revelations 14 and 1. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion. This is Yahweh Shai, so called Negro. That's about to show up. All right. Um, he, when he, he said, I come quickly. But he's going to show up, man. All right. And he's going to stand on this earth again. And with him, an 140 and 4,000. That's the elect. All right. That's being sifted. The tabernacle of David. Then you're going to have the one third. Having his father's name written in their foreheads, right? This is New Jerusalem um, that he's talking about here. So who is that talking about? The 144,000 having the father's name written in their forehead. Matter of fact, let me get that real quick. I just had it. I was just there too. All right. Um, all right. This is Revelations 3 and 12. Him that overcometh. So he said, if you believe in Yahweh Shai, you have already overcome. All right, but you got to do it in the spirit and in truth. Okay, you got ISUPK. They say they believe in Yahweh Shai, but now you hear them, all you hear them say is General Yohanna. And when it comes to the chip, they're not warning the people. You see them smacking their damn lips all the time and, and stomping their black boots. At the same time, it's just confusing. And they just talk about how, how it's not the chip, you know, it's the mark of the beast, man. The chip is the mark of the beast, man. The beast being who? Esau. The European Union, NATO, and America all together are going to push this chip as a new currency. All right? Or a safe haven from the uh, what they got going on with this uh, whole sickness. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my power, man. And he shall go no more out. And I ain't going to be luke, lukewarm, double-minded. And I will write upon him the name of my God. So he's going to write, a, he said, having their father's name written in their forehead. So that's what he meant. All right. He's going to write upon that person the name of Yahweh, saying this, this person belongs to Yahweh. And the name of the city of my God, see, upon that individual is going to be called New Jerusalem, a citizen of New Jerusalem. It says, uh, in the name of the city, I will write upon him the name of my God and the name of my of the city of my power, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from Yahweh, and I will write upon him my new name. All right. So if we go back to 14, right here, it says, uh, Revelations 14 and 1. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him 140 and 4,000, having his father's name written in their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters. Okay. And as the voice of a great thunder, and I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps, man. So it's only going to be 144,000 and one third that get called New Jerusalem. And they sung, as it were, a new song. So this is a new song before the throne, okay? Being renewed, refreshed. Before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the 140 and 4,000 which were redeemed from the earth. Okay? And the only, only one that could learn the song no, not the song of Moses. He he sang about the deliverance, but we're we're singing a new song of deliverance. Okay, and the only one that could learn that song is the hopeful elect. These are they which, these are they which were not defiled with women. That means philosophies and doctrine and being an Egyptologist and all of that. We weren't defiled with it. We might have grew up in these different churches. But um, when we became men, we learned about the truth. All right. Some of us knew about the truth before um, we heard of GMS. But um, mostly uh, we got edified from the apostles 
from Pastor Har on down, from uh, G the apostles of GMS. Okay. Um, Revelation 14 and 4. And these are they which were not defiled with women. So not going to be defiled with philosophies, religions, false doctrines, fables, own vain thinking, imaginations, doubt. Okay, they're not going to be defiled with that. Because right, the Lord says not what goes in the body. Of course, you don't want to eat pork and all that, but I'm saying, and you don't want to take the chip. But the Lord says what comes out that defiles the person. So if you're teaching people and telling them that, that um, it's not the chip, you're defiling yourself. All right, you take the chip, you're defiling yourself. Okay, it says, these are they which follow the lamb whithersoever he goeth. These are these were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto Yahweh and to the Lamb. So, you know, you want to be part of the first fruits that are redeemed from among humans, <laughs> from among men. Get off the damn earth. The first fruits are the ones that are going to be taken up into the chariots, man, given a bird's eye view, being saved. Salvation means to be delivered from um, another one's trap and that trap is the snare of the father esau yahweh shai is our deliverer all right from yahweh so he said what these elect are going to be redeemed from among men but two-thirds of our people that are straddling the fence got a little show and like yeah i'm gonna put this woman on here when he knows that the true men of the lord teach that women are supposed to be teaching, man. But what she did was could have been helpful. Because the way she did it, she was on there like, hey, um, I got my own website, but here's the resources that I get it from. You know, and uh, I think she played one of the brothers from GMS. That's what it seemed like, sounded like. So um, that's what the women are supposed to do. They're supposed to if, um, teach their children, teach other sisters maybe. But when it comes to men, you can inform them. But uh, that's why scriptures say uh, they could be won over by the conversation of the wife, the unbelieving husband. All right. But if it's just an average Joe Schmo, a, a man of Israel, a Jake, you're supposed to point him to the men of the Lord. Okay. And the husband, you point him to the men of the Lord. And as many camps I you have, uh, the ones I'm going to point out, the go-to would be, of course, uh, apostles of GMS. You have to be careful because you got some uh, some that have crept in unawares, you know. But um, you have, but I would say listen to the apostles, okay. And then you have um, DTA, you have Men of Valor, and you have Lions Den. They're the ones that's all teaching the sincere truth. And maybe other brothers out there, but they're the only ones I've noticed. The other ones I ain't even gonna mention. You know, even if they're teaching the truth, their their um, spiritual and moral value is not correct. You know, they have gang bangers, guns, um, jumping people. You have some that say you can do it in the butt. Um, they don't even teach the Lord's name anymore, so it's all confusion. The ones I've seen that've been doing it legit, of course, the apostles. The apostles and the ones that's been around for a long time in GMS, because a lot of the new ones they're not doing it right. You know, they'll be breaking shit down wrong, and it'll it'll fly under the radar, or they'll talk shit about people and kick people out of something when they just become a part of something. You know, and they they'll boast themselves up. So you gotta be careful with those guys. They crept in unawares, but from the apostles on down, the sincere ones, yeah, GMS. And then, um, especially Pastor Har, you know, then you have uh, DTA with the elder of that camp, uh, Taziawan. You have Watchmen Philadelphia with Mayaka Allah. Uh, you have um, Lions Den and Men of Valor. Right, I can't think of any other camps that I've noticed that teach the sincere truth. All right, all the way through and through. All right, Revelations 14 and uh, 4. These are they which were not defiled with women. 
okay, with doctrines and philosophies. For they are virgins, meaning pure. You have the parable of the ten virgins. Five were wise and five were foolish. So these virgins right here are wise. These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits of Yahweh and to the Lamb. Okay. And in their mouth was found no guile, no falsehoods. So he said, every word that men shall speak, they should give account for in the day of judgment. So in the hopeful elect's mouth, yeah, there's not going to be found any guile. For they are without fault before the throne of Yahweh, man. All right, so you're teaching the truth. Wow, without fault. So the Lord going to wipe away our sins. And he said going to give us a white stone. Okay. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of Yahweh. I'm going to read this real quick. And it says, and there, verse 8, And there followed another angel, saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen. So it's going to fall double. It's going to fall from the inside first and then it's going to be destroyed from the outside it's going, it's going to fall twice it says that great city all right you're going to have civil wars insurrections all kind of stuff going up economy collapse diseases all right that great city man america because she have made all the nations um drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, meaning his system, all right, this man's system that they're setting up for this new world order, all right, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. They have another scripture where it says, in his hands, plural. All right, with an S on the end. So you can't get around it, left hand or right hand. It doesn't matter where you put it at. If you receive it, all right, that's why they like, yeah, you got to receive it. And the ones that don't receive it, or this thing they're giving out now, they threaten to be putting them in the uh, concentration camps in the future. But that could be our deliverance. Just like the Lord told Jeremiah, go with Nebuchadnezzar. You know, that's your deliverance. So you just never know. You never know. All right. It says what? If they receive the mark in their right hand or in their forehead, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. I mean, anybody can get it. That's what he's saying right there. All right. Anybody can get it. You know, he like, yo, if you want to get some of this wrath, you can get you can get it too. The nations have drunk another wrath that's going to be poured out upon America, so they're going to be destroyed as well, and, and portions of them. But hey, look at and he said two thirds of our people, if they drink it at their their philosophies and their lies, then the Lord going to what put that same destruction on them that wrath. They don't care who it is. Two, two thirds of our people are going to feel that wrath of Yahweh that He's going to put on Esau. They're going to feel that wrath. So you Egyptologists need to come up out of that shit. All right. We in the time where the Lord said, come out of her, my people. That's mental. Spiritual. <clears throat> it says, and uh, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh. Right. If they get that chip, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And there is no respect of persons. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone. Okay. Fire and brimstone. So you're going to be tormented with that fire. The Lord is going to leave him in it. Leave a spirit in a body to feel it. That way you say, don't, don't fear a man which can destroy the body, but fear him which can destroy the soul and body in hell right here on the earth. Okay, so you can just have your spiritually destroyed, walking around spiritually dead, 
and then get destroyed physically. And he can leave you in it for a while before he takes the spirit up to the heavens. So they shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Okay. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever. So the ones that get burned up in that fire, the smoke from it going to um, billow up into the air for a long time. And it's not going to be put out. It's going to burn out by itself. Right? The Lord going to let it burn out. He's not going to put it out. And they, that, and they have no rest day or night who worship the beast and his image. And whosoever received the mark of his name, man. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of Yahweh and the faith of Yahweh Shai. Okay, so you have IUIC. They claim, they claim to be keeping the commandments, but they're not keeping the faith. And they're not keeping the commandments because they don't understand the commandments. They have edge-ups, you know, have their, whatever, man. You know about IUIC. But, um, yeah, man, he said in the presence of the Lamb and uh, the ones that receive and worship the beast and his image. So basically Esau and his, and his man's system of the New World Order, their crypto blockchain system that they're setting up with the chip, microchip. Oh, he said uh, uh, the mark, and that word mark is karagma, which means a prick into the hand. Okay, not... um. Or, or it be a quai quai, okay, which means to prick. There's another word where it means to bore, and that's not it. You know, in the Old Testament it says prick, but it means to bore through, like to poke through, and that's not it. That's what they used to do with the um, the ool. They put an ool in your ear as a slave, and they'd go through. But this is different. This is talking about going into the hand as a tag or a badge of ownership. Man.